flat-chested puppies is probably one of the most leading killers as to newborn puppies that people don't realize um, as to why the puppies are passing. Um, if you have a newborn litter of puppies, you're definitely going to want to know this information. It can literally save your puppy's lives, so stay tuned. What's going on, Bully fam? It's your boy, Double Muscle Line Bulls, here with No Days Off Bullies. And we're just gonna talk to you guys today about flat-chested puppies. Um, flat-chested puppies is it, it, something that people, a lot of people don't know about. And it's something so simple, it's a, such a simple yeah. fix that literally like, I, I think most of the time it gets confused for like pneumonia. S simple fix and easy to prevent. Yeah, easy to prevent, exactly. And and I and I think oftentimes even vets they they misdiagnose it. Um, but I mean it's one of those like like we said, something simple that you can use and and be able to fix and uh, save your puppies' lives ultimately, you know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, let's get right into it. So uh, flat chested puppies, I find and th and this is the biggest thing, like I was talking to like a Frenchie breeder and stuff like yeah. that. And they feel like flat chest comes from like that swimmer syndrome, whatever, where it's like they're walking on their their fronts but not using their rear legs. So they start to develop a flat chest. But I feel like with our breed I feel, especially, I feel like it's like I, I see it right out the gate. Yeah, right. I see like, it right out the gate. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Other breeds don't have as much I think of, of a problem oh, with yeah. it. But especially our breed, like that's why I, mm. Yeah, like I I'm gonna show you guys like you know, one one of the things that I do water bed. is a water bed. I take gloves, fill it up with water, you know, in my incubator, and, and it gives a nice lumpy surface yeah. so that then um you know it, it helps prevent that flat chest because if, if if I was to take these out and just put the puppy on this flat surface, it, it can already start to develop. Yeah, like you right, just, like, right like, like, the, like you need the terrain. Lips. Like like yeah. you need terrain, like like the egg crate thing. Yeah, that egg crate. Mm -hmm. Yup, yup, yup. So what so so like when you use the egg crate, you use it just bare or do you put anything over it? Oh no, yeah. I, I put like either one of these fleece blankets or like 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 another thin blanket over the top. Just it just breaks up the terrain so they're not just laying flat on anything and then it's soft. So it, like yeah. it supports, you know? Exactly, exactly. And then, and those are both they both Super cheap Walmart, five bucks a piece. Got you, know? you. And and I know you even showed me that. Uh, what is it? The the rug thing. Yeah, that's that's my secret weapon. <laughs> that's my secret weapon. But um, yeah. Between, I mean, there's different types of rugs that you. Can, as long as yeah. I guess the goal is as long as it's lumpy, and and they not sitting flat on a hard surface. Yeah, for long for long periods of time. Exactly. And and I mean, like like I said, like I prevent it from out right out the gate. Right when I take them home yeah, in this incubator. I'm already throwing a lumpy mm -hmm. surface on there that's soft mm -hmm. to help prevent that flat chest. Because um, especially, I mean, I had somebody recently come to me. Remember the dude? Yeah, the puppy? that was a beautiful yeah, dog. Yeah, man. man. I had somebody come to me. He had a beautiful and, dog. And, and I, I feel like all the symptoms of flat chest puppy but is, similar. is similar to yeah. pneumonia, I, in my opinion. And that, but that, remember, I was telling him, I was like, what makes you think that it has pneumonia? Like, is it giving you any kind of sort of discharge? He was like... Yeah, a little bit, but is she like coughing and anything? He's like, no, nah, she's not doing nothing. I'm like, so why do you think it's ammonia? He was like, because she's just breathing weird. I'm like, where are you? He's like, I'm in New York. I said, you want to go check out my guy up there? You know I mean? like, <laughs> yeah, and then I saw the like, puppy <clears throat> and literally, I mean, the puppy didn't get, it didn't even make it to my crib. But you've seen it, right? Yeah, the puppy was, I think, on her back. And yo, you just saw her her chest, though. You can feel it, which is flat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then the belly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but the see? chest was just flat. So it was like when he was showing me, I was like, she doesn't look like it. like yeah. the ammonia symptoms, you know, like you would like visibly see. Exactly. And since he's like saying like it's on his last like it's acting like it's on his last legs, you know, like all of the symptoms are screaming now. Yeah. But yeah. it didn't show none of us. So I was like, just go check out Double Bull. He lives like yeah, 35. You know, you know I, remember, I, mean? like, I remember the first time I seen a flat chest puppy. Yeah, they, they're crazy. And, and, and the chest, like I said, was extremely flat. Mm -hmm. you, know, you could pick that they're puppy crazy. up and it just feels like, it don't feel right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, it feels very flat on the upper chest, uh, like where the rib cage, you know, the yeah. upper half is. And it's supposed to be more, I guess, like curved, yeah. you know? 
But um, I remember, I remember, I was dealing with same thing. I was dealing with a puppy. This is the first time I experienced it. It was a puppy that uh, like like pneumonia type symptoms. Like, yeah. didn't really want to eat. Yeah. Um, dehydrated, all mm-hmm. that shit. And um, I remember it was June, and June June had told me he's like, yo. Is it, does, does it have a flat chest? And actually, what he uses, and that's what it was, and we was able to fix it by using this type of stuff early enough. Yeah. But the other thing is, remember, it was a, it was like think Cross, Crossbones' granddaughter. I think yeah, I said it to you. Yeah. Also having it slanted, the puppy slanted, mm-hmm. like the head here and the body here, so that the shit, like the the fluids can circulate. Yeah. Right. Give them a little elevation. So, so my question to you is like, what do you do? Mm-hmm when you're dealing with a super severe case of flat chest oh i'm going straight to the egg crate straight to the egg straight crate, to right? the egg crate or straight to the one of these with the with the like with the fleece over it because it's, it's extremely soft and it's going to give it like really good terrain yeah. so it's not going to be putting as much pressure like on the you know what i mean like on, on the, the chest. chest so it's like it's spread yeah. out it like it spreads it out a little more i gotta got go straight for that yeah when it was and a it, super severe case but like i said i prevented like yeah the, like i'd rather prevent it than to have to f- oh, okay, exactly. like, fight against and it, it was you weird know too because like, that puppy that first puppy when when i seen that i had a flat chest yeah when i was holding him though he was fine so that's what was weird like i didn't I, at the time i didn't understand yeah you didn't really know what was going on yeah, when, you so like, out, when like, i would hold him and yeah. he, could, he, could, he could breathe better. Yeah, the minute yeah. I put him down, look, breathing all heavy and stuff like that. Um, I think oxygen helps. Oh, like de- when they so, deal oh, with definitely. When they in that, definitely. that situation. I, mean, you know I, mean, I feel like oxygen helps with anything. I just, I just Yo, keep I, them on I it. tell people. I mean, <laughs> I you know what it is? They don't like it. to make the investment. Yeah, the oxygen, I mean, the machines you know? cost a little more, but you know, you, you these dogs are expensive. And you're how's, that, for, how's the oxygen machine? Oh, it's kicking ass. It's kicking ass. Yeah, it's kicking ass. I'm using it. I got both the incubators. Nice. Uh, hooked up, got the one down, and then the one in there, and then okay. the main well room. Nice, nice. And nice. they, they, I don't, they, they, they doing their job. No problems. Yeah. No. But like I said, like definitely, I think when it comes to the flat chested sure. puppies and stuff like that, I think having oxygen is key. Oh, definitely. Um, like we said, having some type of surface, whether it's this, whether it's this rolled up, whether it's these. I feel like this you is just good really for taking want them soft home, terrain. Like you I, yeah, really I feel want like it. out of all of them, I feel like this is probably a better, the best solution. Um, and maybe that 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 shag thing, whatever, that yeah. other thing too. I think those two, you like the other, you like the shag rug oh, thing man. better? Oh, yeah. Than oh, this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Because like I, like I said, I use a shag rug to prevent it from rip. Yeah. It's like, yeah. like the shag rug is like the egg crate, just like these move a little more, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, it's never like even, it's never flat. Gotcha. And it's just soft and it's thick. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's just all about getting that circulation yeah, because man. when the puppy has a flat chest, I guess like the fluids get trapped. Mm-hmm. So ultimately that's what leads to it dying and passing away and stuff like that. But these bad boys. Got you. And it, it kind of, in my opinion, I guess it kind of simulates them being inside the mother's womb still. Right. You know? Right. So, yeah, between these things here, like, it can tremendously save a puppy's life, you know? And I think the oxygen. Oxygen and these things here, um, I don't know. You, I don't know if... It can prevent it yeah, and get you through it. I don't know, know if, like, having the puppy on, like, antibiotics would help or it's really... I mean, not really, right? I mean, but you never know because sometimes with the flat chest, like, and like you said, like, how the lungs sometimes retain the... Uh, the uh, fluid, yeah, you will get secondary infections sometimes. This is true. This is so true. you, but it's not all. But sometimes, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's not every yeah. single time, but sometimes yeah. it happens. Yeah. So you better be prepared than like, yeah, you know, it's so true. You just it's have true. it on hand. Just have yeah, it on a super hand. severe case, maybe it wouldn't hurt throwing in like some clavamox. Yeah, you, you know, know, just a little. Doop. Yeah, yeah, nothing crazy. But, yeah, but that's like <laughs> more on like severe. if you being you know super over the top with it but yeah. definitely i mean if you have oxygen that's a great investment yeah. i keep telling breeders it's a great investment that and this the nebulizer is yes. great too but definitely oxygen and some type of surface whether it's this whether it's this mm-hmm. whether it's this or whether it's like a shag rug it works so yeah so we figured we just tap in and share with you guys what we do when it comes to a puppy that has flat chest um because i mean literally like, like i said it could be like like if you're using like a whelping box like with these blankets, like like I like I take them and I just like roll them up. Okay. Like uh, you know, like a towel, I just roll them out, roll them long, and I put it under one end of the rubber box and I like slam it down. And on this side, sometimes you could like put thumbtacks. You know what I mean? Just gotcha. to keep it down. Do you think this I'll surface like, alone, just this bl- this soft blanket alone, no, would be enough that. to help prevent it? Yeah, because I'm telling you, this is what I do. It's a long boy. You know what I mean? So I'll take it. I'll just roll it. You know what I mean? 
It's not even no way on it, so I didn't even try to make it perfect. Yeah. And I put this end on the one side of the oven box, and this end on the other side, boop, and I'll put another one going this way. So and you make I'll, like a box out of it? Yeah, with but these. inside the oven box. Like a I'll square. Go one, from one end, no, like a cross. Okay, like a and cross. Then, and then I'll have that shag carpet right there. So then they're walking up here. So it just, it just provides- It creates all kinds of terrain for them. Right. Gotcha. Never, so that's never, a cross. Right. And, and then, then, then each corner, you have a shag? No, 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 no. The shag, it's- so it's on it. top of that. No, the shag is underneath, but it's it's the it's the whole floor. Oh, so it's like, wow! You know, like like the rugs, I get it like this, but two take yeah, up the entire box. Yeah, yeah. So I put the two, then I put the cross of them, and that like wow. yeah, I haven't and had I, I haven't had to deal with like a flat chest puppy being created in like a wow. long time. That's a gem because I haven't even tried something like that. Yeah, That's oh, a it, good it gem. works. It works. Wow. It works wiggly. Or if, if if you get those whelping mats they have, yeah, you know, you could just fold up tiles and put it underneath. Oh, the whelping mat that warms up. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like the regular, the waterproof whelping mat. Okay. Like if they have like a you know, like a regular size box, like yeah. the regular size whelping boxes that they're using, like just squish it up, like bring it in closer to the edges, so and then put your whelping box down. Squish the air out. You are gonna have all sort of terrain. Just put some tiles underneath, and it'll hold. And it'll hold mm. that that shape. Gotcha. It gotcha. really works. It's yeah. simple. It's I simple believe, stuff. Were you saying with this, with the shag and this though? Yeah, that, that makes oh, a that, lot. No, of that, sense. no, that's a one. That, that makes a lot of sense. Because I, then also they're already on the shag, so right. they they. And now you're climbing. It's lumpy, but then they now they got something to lean up. And, and it's letting you too. move them back legs. Yeah, it's getting wow. the toes nice that's and up underneath the like feet. So yeah. like 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 you're not really dealing with heard, swimmers. Other than like you, listen, I haven't. Yeah, that's listen, that's. Listen, yeah. that, these are things you learn as you go. Yeah, that's, you know, that's this a good one. and that one, this this with the with the with the, with the shag rug, or like if they're in an incubator, you know, just throw that in the incubator. Yeah, yeah. But, just throw these right. Yeah, you yeah, can right even throw this in here as well. Like, yeah, just leave it in yeah. there. You know, just make sure you get a couple. Don't don't continue to like reuse and rewash yeah. the same things. Throw the crazy, away. see, with this here, this works good for bringing the puppies home yeah. because it's so convenient. Like every right, has gloves. Right. So you warm the, you put That's warm it. water in this. Throw and, a wee-wee pad and over this the top warms up or something. On the floor, this incubator, which we sell on our website. But, <laughs> but this, it warms it from the floor. Yeah, so yeah. You, so feel that. I mean, yeah. it's been off for a while. But yeah. Oh yeah, but this has that, that, uh, that heater. And he's from right? the floor. Right. So it warms up the water and the gloves. The only yeah. thing I, I don't like Terrain. is that the pups try to sometimes go under them. Yeah, they and, try to burrow because it's and, warm. Yeah, and, and <laughs> as well as like they stick their heads under. But so. that's but that's why you can always use like 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 a thin like a thin like a thin blanket. Like this, yeah, yeah, of course. Room. What I'm just getting at is I like these options better. Yeah. But for bringing them home, I no, that, that's 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 it is the quickest too. Convenient. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, the quickest. Uh, yeah, exactly. So anyway. You know, that's just some tips and tricks. And that this incubator is crazy. Like, yeah, I know. That, <laughs> that still crazy, got my man. other one. <laughs> we never did something like that. Talk about Willis, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, guys, that was just some tips and tricks on, um, you know, flat chested puppies that you hear from two different perspectives, two different breeders. Mm -hmm. So, um, hey, if you guys got questions, drop them down below. And maybe that next time we get together, we'll do like a part two on this or something like that. Right. But oh yeah, yeah. yeah but anyway, uh, hope this information was helpful. Hope it was useful. That's one of my secret moves. Don't Damn. forget, uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to also follow our Instagram. No days off, bullies. All right. So we'll see you guys on the next episode of Breeders Hacks.